Hi, what about the chemistry video after a while? As the title says, we are going to make copper powder. This is very simple redox reaction of copper chloride and iron. This green liquid is copper chloride. I am using this for etching printed circuit boards. This reaction can be also done with copper sulfate. And copper sulfate is more available. I would just recommend to add a few milliliters of hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid present in the solution dissolves metal oxide, so copper will stay shiny until all the acid is depleted. As this reaction generates quite a lot of heat, it's a good idea to slow it down a bit by diluting it with water. I'm doing this reaction in petri dish, but this is just for demonstration purpose. Basically some beakers or disposable cups are better for this reaction. Mainly if you want to make a lot of copper powder. Our reducing agent will be nails. I will add 4 nails to the solution. You can see that immediately the nails will turn black. This black color is actually the copper that is deposited on the surface of the nail. I am not really sure why the copper doesn't make only a thin layer on the surface and then stop the reaction, but it keeps going. If some of you know, you may inform us in the comment. I will really appreciate that. However, as the reaction progress and copper deposit is quite significant, it will resemble this fur-like shape. This copper deposit has a really wonderful bloody red color, and it can be easily confused with ordinary rust. Also, the solution is now almost colorless. You can see that this copper is really fluffy and shiny. I have still some ions to reduce, but I will stop here and extract the nails. I transfer content of petri dish to the plastic cup. Then I will wash the copper for a few times with water. Just be aware that copper chloride is dangerous to the environment, so proper disposal is recommended. It's a good idea to wait for a few hours after the solution is colorless. That way you can be sure that the reaction is completed. Then you will be left with iron chloride salts and they are safe to dispose. However, the color of the copper may not be so nice. To make it shiny once again, you may add hydrochloric acid. After a few washings, I will dry the copper powder on a piece of cloth. Fortunately, this powder is caking together, so it's quite workable. You can see here that it's very shiny when subjected to abrasion and deformation. And finally it's time for waiting. I did not measure the amount of copper chloride I started with. And frankly the concentration of the copper chloride is unknown. Because there is some hydrochloric acid present and I don't know how much. And there also is some contamination. And I am sure there is some contamination. I'm quite surprised. Almost 1 gram and it was about, I don't know, 20 milliliters or so. I sure etched a lot. Yeah, so thanks for watching and have a nice day.